Hey everyone, Andrew Hess here. Today I wanted to take our app that we've been working on and we've been running into delegation issues. So we have some things that are not delegable. And today I wanted to take our app from SharePoint and move it to Dataverse. But before we did that, I wanted to create a lookup column, a SharePoint lookup column, just so we have a little bit of complexity and then we'll migrate from SharePoint to Dataverse. So let's get into it. Before we go in and start changing everything to Dataverse, let's talk about the differences. So first off with SharePoint and with Dataverse, we have a capacity limitation, right? So SharePoint technically can have about 30 million rows, but as soon as you start getting large data sets, especially over about 4,000, 5,000 rows, you start running into issues, you have to do workarounds, or you're gonna run into delegation issues. Then of course there's uh, performance and scalability. So with Dataverse, it's much more scalable. Performance is a good bit better. And I feel like Dataverse is made for the power platform. Then there's also the relational side of things. Dataverse has relational database uh, functionality. SharePoint does not. We Once again, we do workarounds, we have lookups. There's things we can do to create relationships, but it's not a true relational database. Now, also in Dataverse, you know, there's a wide variety of different supported data types. In SharePoint, there's a good bit, but but not as many as Dataverse, right? There's there's extra functionality that you can see in uh, Dataverse and different types of data. Then there is uh, security in SharePoint. Really, you're left with owners, members, visitors, and then you can do custom permissions. With Dataverse, there's a good bit more flexibility, right? You can do row field level security that's actual uh, a huge benefit of doing dataverse there's certain power fx formulas that work in dataverse that do not work in sharepoint some might include like search or count rows right those are some things that we actually did in our app and we can see that it has that little yellow warning sign it's not deligible another big reason to go from sharepoint to dataverse is that offline uh, support capability with dataverse you can work with your app offline right you don't have to be connected online to work with your app now the the big downside is the cost right so if you go to dataverse and use dataverse as your data source there is every user that uses your power app and every maker also needs a power apps premium license now there's a whole bunch of complexity with licenses we could go on and talk about that in a whole different video but just know Basically, if you are using Dataverse, normally you need Power Apps Premium. So let's get into our app and let's make a lookup column in SharePoint and then let's move to Dataverse. So let's just take a look at our app, right? We have nice analytics that work. We can search in here. So if we search for Superman, so we can see that our, our analytics kind of go back and forth. This was what we did last week. We can you know, go out of analytics, we can remove our search, we have nice filtering. But what I wanted to do today is I want to take product and I want to turn it into a lookup column. So let's go to SharePoint. And to get there easily, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the left side. I'm just gonna to go to data. I'm gonna click on edit data. And this is gonna open up on different screen did for me, my SharePoint list. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another list site columns, new list, it's gonna be a blank list, it's just gonna be product, list, product. And it's just gonna have a list of our products, nice and simple, that's all it's gonna be. So there was ChatGPT, premium, Power Apps, premium, Power Automate, premium, Let's see, what else did we have? We had Adobe Photoshop, and I think we had Midjourney. So those are all the products I have right now, and we wanna be able to add some later on also, so that's why we make it a separate list, because we wanna be able to add to it. So let's go in here, and let's go to our Power App again. All right, so we're back to Power App. Let's add that SharePoint list. So SharePoint, we're gonna add our SharePoint list, our credentials, the SharePoint site and the new list is right here called product. Okay, so we have that SharePoint list. We added it in here, but there's one thing we didn't do. 
in our licenses, I want to re recreate this field here, product. I want to create a lookup column. And this is just the SharePoint side of things. So let's see here, lookup, next. And it's going to be, let's just call it product lookup. And I just want to show how you can do both ways. I want to add a little bit more complexity in here. So the source will be our, our product, and then we'll grab the title, right? And so we'll come in here and we'll add in Power Automate Premium. We'll just kind of match everything out. Adobe Photoshop, ChatGPT Premium. I'm just going to go all the way down. You may not be able to see that, but it should be fine. Okay. So now we have added in that lookup column. So it looks up from our other SharePoint list. Let's add it to our Power App now. So now in our Power App, I'm going to refresh. I might as well just refresh both of the lists. All right. So now one thing that is not working correctly is our collect statement, right? We can't pull in our product lookup right it is a lookup field it's saying hey expecting wrong type of column it expects type text so we need to extract that column out right so we can't add it to our data table yet we can't add it in there so let's go back to our collect statement here and so what i'm, I'm going to leave that in there up top and right here before or after search i'm going to do add columns and in licenses, that's correct. I want to add the column product lookup value. How about that? And let me think about this a little bit. What that is going to be is comma is product lookup dot value. All right. And so this uh, field here is going to be value. So we're adding in the column. We're missing a parentheses. Let's figure out where that is. So there we go. So let's um, format the text. We're adding the column. We're adding the lookup value. So we're just saying, hey, product look lookup dot value. Add the column. Add the text. Right. We could change this to ID if we wanted to, if we just wanted ID. But value is going to be that title field. And then we add it to our collection search here. So now it's in there. Okay. So let's just make sure. If I come to my table and then I do edit fields, add fields, I search for product, go ahead and add that. Let's see, how does that appear? So that comes in and it's blank, right? So that's because it's a table. But the field we just created, product lookup value, is here. It is of type text. So if we remove the other one, Product lookup, remove, press play. We can then see our product lookup value does appear here and it matches if we remove the search. Okay, they all match. We're now using that lookup field. We added it to our table. But th that's just the SharePoint side of things. That's not where we want to be. Okay, so we have all that data in there. We have it working for SharePoint. That's not the point of this video. The point is... Now we still have delegation. I want to move out of SharePoint and into Dataverse. And there's ways to beat delegation, right? There's all kinds of ways, but let's move out of SharePoint into Dataverse. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a save. I'm gonna go back to Power Apps. And there's a few different ways to do this, but the way that I'm gonna do it today, right? Right over here on the left side, I'm going to go to tables and I'm going to create a new table and it's in preview right now. So that doesn't mean you're always going to see this. It is in preview right now, but with a SharePoint list, we can create a table. Now I just want to say you cannot do this in your default environment. If you try and create these tables or import these tables and currently right now, uh, and I don't know what will happen in the future, but it's 9-7-2025, September 7th, you cannot import or use this feature in my default environment. Every time I tried, I ended up with an error. So I went to a production environment and now I'm going to create a SharePoint list and we're going to import from SharePoint. 
and we're going to grab our SharePoint site licenses and we're going to do import. Now I'm going to rename our table because licenses, it just seems too out of the box, right? I want something more specific just in case like we run into issues. I'm going to remove the S also. So it's going to be software license. So we're going to name it software license for our table. Email is our primary key. I think that'll be okay. Um, username, product lookup. We're actually going to change that one. So let's go here to view data. Let's go to product lookup and edit column. And this one I'm going to do right here. Data type lookup related table is we don't we let's pull in that table so add existing table we don't have it yet let's see what new table sharepoint list preview so we got to pull in that one too all right so we're going to pull in our product table import this one will be much easier right also so this one's much more simple right we only really want the title field so that's perfect that's perfect. Now in our software license table in product lookup, edit, data type, lookup, related table, product. Let's kind of make sure everything's in there. That all looks good. Update. So now we've changed and there's some data validation in here. Let's, let's kind of click through each one. There we go. Let's kind of click through each one. So Power Apps Premium, Power Apps Premium. Our automate premium, you may have to do this on every single one. So you want to be careful with those lookup columns. And finally, mid journey. And let's see, is there anything else? All right, so we got rid of those validation errors. We now have a true lookup product uh, coming from our other table. I'm going to go ahead and click save and exit. And we're going to click save and exit and we're going to let it save that table. So we have our software license table and we pulled in our product table and we created that true relationship. So you would want to map your username, email, probably to a user's table. But in my dev environment, I don't have all those licenses for that to work. Now we're going to replace everything in Power Apps. So let's open back up Power Apps. Let's replace our SharePoint data source with Dataverse. All right, so we're back in our app. Let's go to data right above me up here. Let's add data. This time we're gonna pull in the tables. Let's see, oh, there's products. That's probably not the right products we want. Here's software licenses. Let's pull that one in there. And now for our collection statements, we're going to replace our values. So let's see here on our search, let's go back here. Licenses, let's change it to software licenses. And we're not going to have this lookup value anymore, right? So all of that is actually out. This is out. We're searching. And instead of title, so we have email, username, department, product. So let's see, we have username. And this one is going to be product. And let's see, what are we missing? I think we're missing email. If we want email, also we have email here. Okay, I think we'll leave it like that. All of our delegation is gone. Let's make sure that this all works. So every time I search, it then is going to repopulate that data source. So it did not work yet. Let's take a look why. So it's not connected yet. I know I know the error that I'm running into. Right here, we need to go to fields on the right side and we need to repopulate these. So let's see here. We have let's kind of let's kind of repopulate it. So what I'll do is I'll come to items, I'll do collection search again, replace columns, add fields. So we need Username, title, product, or actually we want the lookup. We want the lookup, license date, department, budget code. And let's see, I think that is it, right? 
So right now, right now we have two troubled columns, right? We have license date, it's not a text field, and we have product lookup. So let's go back to our collection, and we're gonna do add columns again. So search, and we're going to add columns, and we're gonna add columns in our software licenses, and the first one we're gonna do is, we'll call this product add column, I guess, added. And this is going to be product lookup dot that, uh, name. Let's see, product lookup dot title. Okay, we got that one. Now we want to do the date field. So the next one is date added, and this is going to be uh, what, what was the what's the field name called? I forget was um, license. Oh, we need a comma here. License date dot. Um, I think we could do text. So text license date, and then we put it in the format we want. Y, 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 month, month, day, day. And an ending, per, ending comma, Let's see parentheses. There we go, I was just missing one comma. So I needed a comma right there, all right? So now we've added in the text value of product lookup, grabbing the title, and we've grabbed in the text value of the date. So now let's try and re-add them to our table. So add field, well first let's remove license date. So product lookup remove, license date remove. Now we're gonna add in the added columns we created, which is, let's make sure it shows up. So it's not there yet. Let's just kind of make sure, let's, let's type in collection search. I'm leaving in these issues on purpose. Actually, let's, let's remove this blank it out and then let's put it back in there collection collection search add fields make sure everything syncs up so date added and the other one was product added all right so date added did not come through and product added did not come through oh maybe we need to search hold on andrew there we go, now it's coming through and you can even see that date uh, format. So now, now we have this new collection. Let's just make sure it's everywhere it needs to be. So for my screen, I had it on, on visible. We collect, we collect. And also when you click the, the analytics button, it collects. All right, all right, I think that is all we needed. So we've re-hooked up our form. We have everything nice and working. All right, so that's all I wanted to show today was how to go from SharePoint to Dataverse. You have to repopulate your collections. You have to redo your table, redo your forms. All that's a little bit extra, but I just wanted to show how easy it is to go from SharePoint to Dataverse. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.